In today's video, we will learn how you can automatically add details in Google Sheets on new submissions in card. So let's say you want every time there is a new submission in card, it could be regarding anything for help inquiry or say a lead submission. So the details, the leads details should be added here in Google Sheets so that you can have a fully fledged record at one place. So we are going to automate this entire process using Pabli Connect. Come to my screen to see how we do this. To automatically add card submission details in a Google Sheet, let us first go to Pabli's website. You can see the landing page of Pabli. On the top right, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Well, if you sign up free, you will get free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in. Pabli Connect. On the top right, you will see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name. So we will simply write card to Google Sheets and create. And now it will show you two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. So the entire automation process would be based on these two steps, trigger and action. Let us understand this with the help of an example. A trigger can be when a payment is made, an action can be send a confirmation message to the user. In our case, a trigger can be whenever there is a new submission in card, the action can be add the details in a Google Sheet. So let us begin and select card as our trigger application. For the trigger event, we will select new submission. It triggers when a new submission has been added to a specific form. And now you will see it is given up a webhook URL like this. So webhook URL is basically a link that connects two applications. So we are going to copy this webhook URL and follow these steps as to know how we are going to set up this URL. So it says log into card account and click on new site button. All right. This is my card account. You can see here. This is the dashboard. These are the two forms that I've created here. In case you haven't uh, created a form on the top right, you will see a new site button. You can just click there and proceed with the form. Since I have created two, I'm going to select this. This is the form we will be working on. All right. And now here it says after you select the form, set type to custom and select send to URL from the drop down. All right. So let us go to the form here. And if you when you click on the form, it will open a menu at the right hand side. So select type as custom here. Then here from the drop down, select send to URL. Now again, let's go back to Babli Connect and check what more we have to do. So now we have to copy and paste the above URL in URL field and click on done button. So let us copy this URL, come back to our card. And here in the URL, first I'm going to remove the earlier URL. Then I'm going to paste the new one and then ju just click on done button. So now once it's done on the top, you will again see a menu. This publish this site button. You will see just click there and then click on publish changes. And you will see the changes has been published. Okay. So now coming back to Pabli Connect, you will see it is waiting for a webhook response. So now what we have to do is we have to quickly do a test submission. We will go to the form that we just set up the integration with and then we will do a test submission there. So to see if Pabli is able to capture those form details or not. So now I will take you to the form here. I've opened this form here in incognito mode like you can see. And now let us fill in the dummy details here. And here you can see I filled in the details here. Demo lead is the name, demo at Pabletudes, the email address and the contact number. So since this is just for testing and trial purpose, I've used such names like demo and lead. Now let us just submit the form and you will see response accepted. Now let us go back to Pabli and see if it is able to capture the response. And yes, Pabli did capture the response. 
Here you can see the full name, demo lead, mobile number and the email address that is demo at Pabletudes. So this means we have successfully integrated our Pabli Connect and card. Now scroll down and we will work on our action step. So for the action application, we will select Google Sheets here. For the action event, we will select add new row as we want every time there is a new submission in card a detailed row should be added here in Google Sheets. Let us connect, add new connection and connect with Google Sheets. So I'm going to select my Gmail account here. And now I don't have to give any credentials as I was already logged into my account. I will just have to give the permission and you will see authorization successful. And you will see it's connected and therefore it has fetched all the spreadsheets that I had created in my Google Sheets. You, you can see all these spreadsheets are there. I will be working on card contacts. So I'll show you this spreadsheet here. This is the spreadsheet with name card contacts. So I want these three fields here whenever there is a submission here in cards. Okay, whenever there is a submission here. So I want these details should be added here in the spreadsheet name, email and contact. All right. Let us come back here to selecting the spreadsheet. You will see it has fetched the same fields name, email, contact as we have given here in the spreadsheet. So now we will map the details here. So we will map the details from card here. You will see the full name here. But before we map in this full name, you must be thinking where exactly are we getting these card details here from. So for that, I will take you to step one where we integrated card with Google, with Pabli Connect, did a test submission, submitted a dummy form and Pabli captured the response like this. Pabli has brought exactly same response details over here in the Google Sheets step and that's how we are going to map it. So let us map the name. This is the name here, demo lead. Now in a similar way, we will also map the email. Here is the email right on top. You can see demo at Pabletudes. Now it needs contact. Again, we will map it from card. This is the contact number. So we have mapped in all the details here. Before I click on save and send test request, just one quick thing I would like to tell you about mapping. So these mapped in fields like you can see name, email and contact. These mapped in fields from next time will automatically be updated. So what will happen is whenever there is a new submission in card, Pabli captures the response. So in Google Sheets step, this name, email and contact, these mapped in fields will automatically pick the new details and you will not have to manually do it. All right. Now let us click on save and send test request. And you will see. We have received the response. These are the table range here and other details, updated cells and columns here. So now let me take you to my Google Sheet and see if these details have been added there as a new row. So this is my spreadsheet, Google Sheet here. You can see these details have been added successfully. The name is here, demo lead, then the email address, demo and pabletudes, then the contact number. So this means we have successfully integrated our Google Sheets and card using Pabli Connect. Not only this guys, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with the help of Pabli Connect. For any queries, you can visit forum.pabli.com. Our team will definitely answer your queries. You can also visit our website on www.pabli.com slash connect. For latest updates, you can also join our Facebook group. Share this video with your friends and help them automate their businesses.